Okay, so now let's implement this comment functionality on our client side. So I'll open this client and I'll go to this home, right? And let's write some code in here. Okay, so we will be making a function first of all of const make comment c o double n n d comment, right? And here we will be receiving text text and we want to send the text to our backend and we want to send post id as well right post id okay and now we can make a request fetch and we want to make a request to slash c o double m e n t comment and a method will be put because that will be an update request initially our array will be empty i'll show you that in a minute first let me write little bit of, of the course code and inside this header we will be having content type make sure c is capital c o n t e n t content t y p e type uh, and that will be a double p l i c a t i one application slash json and we need to add authorization a u t h o r i z a t i o n authorization header and that will be p e a r e r space plus local storage dot get item and that is jwt and what else we need oh we need to add a body in here b o b o d y body and i need to first stringify use, using json dot stringify json dot stringify and inside here i can pass an object now our object will have post id and that will be post id which we are receiving from in here and we will be sending text as well and this text will be equal to text which we are receiving in here now you can condense this down to just post id because key and value both are equal so yeah i can do that so i can just condense it down to just post id and this to just text okay so we need to call this make comment okay so what i will do first of all i will be commenting this or uh, or what i will do where is our comment input tag this is our input tag so what i will do i will wrap this input tag with the form and i'll put this form uh, input tag inside the form and in form here on submit i can add on submit and we will be receiving event console first of all i'll be preventing e dot prevent default because if you will uh, submit this form then then form will refresh itself so i want to prevent from it and i will console dot log so you as well console dot log event dot targ target yeah and i think that should be it okay let's uh, i will make this input oh now i can keep this as it is yeah okay so let's start our server let's say if yeah so i need to start so my uh node js server is running so i'll be starting my client server by typing npm start okay so i'll be signing with the ramesh email id uh, ramesh r a m e s s ramesh at the rate r a m e s s ramesh uh, not a to at the rate ramesh at the rate ramesh dot com and the password was one two three four let's click on login and let's wait for a few seconds and sign in success okay so yeah so now let's try to uh, post add a comment something some comment in here let's say nice pick if i hit enter now here you can see we are logging this form right now i want to get the value of this input for that in here inside this form we have just one input so i can access that so uh, i can access this input by putting the zero because we have the only, because we want to access the zeroth element and that is the input right and here i can put value in order to access the value of this dot p a l v value like so now if i do this one more time uh, okay so now let's write something in here 
if I do nice pick and I if I it hit enter here, you can see nice pick pick is getting logged. Okay, yeah. So now we can call this make comment with text and post ID. So we have text and we can access post ID from the item. Okay, so now instead of console dot log, I'll be calling make comment and this is the text right and here we need to pass post id so we have post a post id available in item so here we can write item uh, dot underscore id yeah and now if we got the response okay now here we need to add then and if response and we will pass the response to json first and that will again return us a promise so we need to add another then and finally we will get our result right result and first of all i'll console.log result console.log result and now i can add the same logic which we added in here right so i can copy this control c right and control v and yeah so we will be iterating over the existing array we will receive individual item if the item id is equal to the result id then we will return the result that is the updated record as item okay this is this is this will be a same logic so now i can update set data the this one right set data and where it is make comment set data and i can pass new data like so now what i can do why it is showing like so uncode detected unreachable code where let me see where we have wrote this oh we need not to write it here instead control x here we need to write that here okay yeah so i think i should be everything should be fine uh, we have results so here i can add a catch block if we have any error so we'll receive error in it and for now i can just console dot log the error if there is any error okay and now i can show the comment on the post so let's say we will be showing our comments maybe after this body right okay above this input yeah so here we need to iterate in the comments array right we need to iterate in the comments array so in the item now we will have comments dot c o w m e n t s comments and inside this comment i can put a map now i can iterate it over it so we will get individual record and we can return uh, i'll be returning maybe h6 and inside this s tick i'll have a span tag okay so inside this uh, from this record uh, i can access the posted by posted 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 by inside this posted by we will have name right okay and I can add a little style so I can make this little bold up. So I'll adding I'll be adding a style sty style to this, and I can make font font weight and let's say 500. Okay, yeah, and uh, I'll put a space in here. Now I want to add the actual comment so uh, that is available in record dot txt like so now i will show you the in the console dot log that we have all this result right i will show you this uh, in this result right okay yeah i think this should be the logic and we are done with this logic okay so now let's have a look on our react just side so now now if i open this post initially now here we, you can see initially we will have the empty comments uh, inside here you can see we have this comments empty right so now i'll be make i'll be adding a comment in this so maybe nice pick i'll hit enter and i'll wait for response in here you must be logged in 
and I think do we have added author authorization header? Oh, I have made, did a typo a u t h o r i authorization make sure the spelling is correct and make sure this spelling is correct as you will get uh, errors right and let's save this okay let's do this one more time so here i'll be writing nice pick hit enter now here you can see we are getting a uh, response what response i am getting oh my bad this was terrible I, I am getting a response with line number 83 that is result and I am making a request on comment route. Let me see what logic here we have wrote. That is correct. Why we are getting uh, why we are getting this empty. and we have got likes inside this likes we have i'll do this one more time hmm maybe i we have done something wrong in here text with the post id application slash json and we are making a post request we are receiving from the front end we are pushing that co double m e oh my bad co double m e n t s oh my bad this was terrible seriously okay i have made so many mistakes okay i'll refresh everything first of all okay and i'll test this out one more time let's cross our fingers nice pick hit enter let let's wait for response here you can see ramesh nice pick amazing beautiful i'm loving it i am absolutely loving it here you can see nice pick has added right nice pick has added by the ramesh right uh yeah but the name is invisible now right what just happened so we are not able to see the name and there is one more little issue which I want to show you. First of all, it is saying saying to add a key while iterating. Okay, that's completely fine. Okay, now let me refresh this. Okay, now here you can see we have just nice pick and we are not able to see the person who posted this pick. I know the reason for that because we didn't add it populated. Now, first of all, I will be giving this a key while iterating because as it is throwing us an a warning to add a key so in, in here i can add a key and that will be record record dot underscore id okay this should solve our problem so now come to this post route and instead in here from where are we accessing this name inside this post we have uh, posted by okay so i will go to this get post right in here i want to populate some more stuff p o p u populate i want to populate c o w m p n d a comments array and comments array have p o s t d posted by by and from that i want to get the id of the person who added a comment and the name of the person right okay so this should solve the first issue let's try to make another comment right or let's refresh this we should be able to see the name in here who posted okay the first issue is solved but let's try to make another comment right let's try to make another comment let's say uh beautiful I will hit enter. I'll wait for response. We are getting a response, but why the name is getting hidden? And okay, so I think we need, we need to populate this posted by as well. 
isn't it yeah we need to populate this posted by okay my bad yeah that is where the name is getting hidden but this should be not an issue but let's do that so in here we need to populate uh, POS TD posted by and yeah and we want to get id underscore id and the name name okay let's save this and let's see if this fix the issue i'll be making one more comment i'll first refresh everything right okay so maybe i can make a comment to this record maybe right i can add beautiful mountain i can hit enter and here you can see and the name is also visible okay beautiful 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 isn't it so we successfully did it we successfully did it right okay yeah this is beautiful we are also able to like the post right yeah okay amazing i'm loving absolutely loving this right okay so we successfully added the command functionality right so maybe this is it for the video we will add some more functionality maybe in the next video so i'll see you guys in the next video